A hotel chain in Austin is opening its doors free of charge starting today. Now it's giving a four day hotel stay to Hurricane Ida evacuees from Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama. KXAN's Jayla Washington reports. A storm with a powerful rhythm. Hurricane Ida evacuees right here to Austin. We don't know how it's going to go, how it's going to play out. While there is still a misty cloud of uncertainty, Julian Boyd and Kizahanna landed a free room at the Austin Motel. It took 11 hours. They made the trek from New Orleans, a target of Ida's unruly wrath. Most of them are out of capacity. So we're lucky we got this one. Bunkhouse Hotels opened its doors, giving 100 free rooms across the Austin San Antonio area. Walk sign is on to cross Congress and James. And there were few vacancies left just hours into the first day it started accepting evacuees. It was really quick and last minute. You know, I think as soon as we saw the storm was getting as serious as it is, we all made the decision that this is the right thing to do. Here at the Austin Motel, it's just one of six within its company that's going to be giving people free rooms from Sunday until Wednesday. But the efforts, they don't stop here. We're collecting supplies for Tank Proof, which is a Louisiana based nonprofit we work with. Now through Tuesday, where you can drop off basically essential items, toiletries, personal hygiene. Though Ida is predicted to lose momentum. For Hannah and Boyd, there's no shaking the eerie reality of it making landfall on Hurricane Katrina's anniversary. Like we don't know if our house is going to have a roof. You but know. as the two anticipate what's next, they're thankful. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And you can donate items to the San Jose Hotel on South Congress until Tuesday. From there, we're told those items will be sent to the areas hit hardest by Hurricane Ida. Well, a member of the Round Rock Fire Department deployed to Louisiana this weekend. Battalion Chief Gunther Von Seltman left this morning, and he will help crews with search and rescue efforts around the state.